Hi there! This is Al from TheGamingGeek.net and we've got another Retroid Pocket 3 performance test uh, today. Um, I'm going to be winding down on this because uh, I've already or pre-ordered my Retroid Pocket 3 Plus and we're going to play with that a lot more frequently as we set this aside. But today, um, and while I still haven't had my, I still haven't gotten my um, Retroid Pocket 3 Plus device, we're going to be taking a look at uh, PlayStation 1 games that play really good on the Retroid Pocket 3, simply because you can play them at the 2x resolution, right? This game is Spider-Man 2 Enter Electro. So, uh, I actually like this game a lot. I'm a big fan of the, the pair of Spider-Man games that were released on the PlayStation 1. And I'm actually quite sad that uh, this game wasn't ported over to the Dreamcast because the first game w was ported over to the Dreamcast and it, uh, in my opinion, is a lot better than the uh, PlayStation version. It looks much better. Um, it controls a little bit better. So let's, let's listen to this. So this is a direct sequel to the first game, as you can see by the in introduction movie. Uh, this definitely continues from the events of that uh, game. Uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at this. Let me just turn the volume up a little bit. So as you can see from here, right? We're let's take a look at the the gallery for a second. Our mild mannered. Highly intelligent, sometimes neurotic hero of the game. All right, so we're gonna our mild mannered, rotate, highly intelligent, sometimes neurotic hero in. of the game. Can I? There you go. So look at how good the Spider-Man uh, uh, model uh, looks, right? I already have this set at the two X resolution. Let's take a look at how uh, it looks when you're on 1x resolution so you just swipe that here go to enhancements change resolution scale to 1 and there uh, it looks okay but uh, I'm not sure if you can see it but it is uh, a lot more pixelated right so when when you do 2x uh, it gets a little bit smoother and unfortunately the Retroid Pocket 3 can't do 3x resolution uh, consistently with PlayStation 1 games. Some of them uh, will work. Others uh, will start to run slowly. So I'm fixing this at 2x resolution. Because performance is uh, more important than graphics, right? Alright, let's begin. This is an FMV sequence, so the resolution upscaling doesn't work here. The volume of the game is a little inconsistent. Sometimes it's loud, sometimes it's too low. There you go, Electro. Maxwell Dillon So he's trying to uh, get this device that I think can amplify his power
that's a pretty good representation of one of his powers where he can use power lines to travel all right so you've got the daily bugle headlines so um spider-man 2 uses the same game engine Welcome as the first game let's listen to stan lee yet another scintillating tale of superhero daring do now it appears that trouble has found our arachnid hero yet again so get ready for a pulse-pounding, web-slinging tale of shocking revelations. Beast, what's got you bounding about? Not a sentinel attack, I hope. Greetings, my web-slinging compatriot. I noticed perchance your diurnal patrol and thought I would provide you with information of a practical and necessary nature. Thanks for the show of interest, Beast. But I've been doing this for a while now. I think I'm okay. Indeed. We shall see. Would you mind telling me what this is? That's no, let's skip this. It's just tutorial stuff. Alright. So you can use the analog stick. I think um, a memory card file was oh, uh, automatically created by um, the device. Alright. We saw that prompt. In any case, um, here we go. All right, so it looks pretty good. You can use the D pad as well. I almost I missed, rent or own. missed that uh, web swing. And here we have the Fantastic Four building. In the first game, there's a comic book uh, right Spikes on top of this. Alright. So, I think if this game were released right uh, today, this would have been DLC, right, for the first game. Because it, it uses the same game mechanics. Um... A little update on the models, like uh, Spider-Man now has his uh, webbing underneath his armpit. Armpits there, the pit webbing. You might even see some of the enemies in the first game here. Right. This is also a little bit shorter than the first game. But you know, I mean, I liked the first game so much. Uh, I was more than willing to buy uh, this game, right? Even though it's a shorter. And I think that's why uh, I am uh, okay with DLCs uh, in today's uh, era. Because uh, it helps extend the lifespan of games that we like uh, to play. Like this one. Right. Rather than uh, release a separate but shorter game, just um, just sell it as DLC. Let's see if I can make the swing here. All right, so we're transitioning to the first stage. In the first game, they had a storyline reason for not allowing us to explore uh, the streets. There was a poisonous fog that, that uh, was all over the city. So the streets were shrouded in this uh, green mist or fog. But here there's no fog so we can finally uh, walk the streets of New York. All right, let's get that um, webbing. Now here the volume's low again.
And based on my research, uh, this game was pushing the boundaries of the PlayStation 1. Uh, I, did, uh, I did read about uh, performance issues, right? Also, when I played the game, I was fine with it. Uh, I couldn't see any problems with it. I just uh, played this recently, all the way up to the end. Alright, there's a comic book there. These are collectibles. I think you can unlock. Uh, I can check this out later in the gallery. You can unlock costumes. Control more. Uh. All right, where were we? You can unlock costumes uh, depending on what, how many comic book uh, covers you can collect. All right, so. Does this look right to anyone? I think my. One of my few complaints about this game is that your webbing is uh, limited and uh, you can consume it by web swinging. So, like right now, because I'm... How do I target? Oop, no, no, no. Let's uh, do this cool thing. Just yank the cap off that hydrant. I could put out the fire. All right. I better put out the fire at the coffee house. There you go. So because I'm trying to conserve webbing, I'm walking around, right? Instead of web swinging, I could be web swinging. I wish they they uh, made web swinging not consume so much webbing. So take a look at this. Well, they didn't. Uh, you know what? We'll we'll do web swinging. All right. So I have eight cartridges. We're supposed to encounter some trouble right this one I wonder where else we should go. A setup! Huh. How original! All of you guys against me. Somebody's heavy. All right. I wonder what else. Spider-Man Ten, Nameless Thug Zero. I think we're good. Yeah, we're gonna have to go there. By the way, it's funny because there's a basketball in one of these rooftops. You can actually take it and you know shoot some hoops with this. Uh, uh, there that that. Uh, that basketball hoop. All right. Spider-Man's uh, perfect for uh, this kind of uh, game because uh, his he's very colorful. He just pops out. Right, let me just adjust the lighting a little bit. All right, the signal from my spidey tracer is stronger from up here. My compass should lead right to it.
If I take out that thug, it'll stop the machine gun. Yeah, and this game does have a few uh, tricks up its sleeve, like this one. There's a, the web pull mechanic that's new to this game as well, but man, I hate the web pull mechanic. No, what? my fault. Darn it. Alright. I think when we retry, it's gonna move us to the back, uh, to the start of that uh, section. So we have to repeat that. Alright. The signal from my Spidey Tracer is stronger from up here. The compass should lead right to him. I wonder what's the best route to take here. All right, got to be careful. Trying to face the right direction. Don't look down. Don't look down. So far so good, it's performing really nicely and it does look better than if we were playing this at the 1x resolution. I almost missed that swing again. Oh no. Wonder where we're supposed to go. No, 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 no. Oh man. Yeah, we'll cut this section out here. Uh, I'll continue when I get back to that same spot. Alright, I'm almost back there. But I'm gonna take a different route a little bit. Alright, so let's think this here. And then that this building right here. And then there's another building just just over there. No, I can't see anything. Alright, he made it all the way up there. You for that was a nice maneuver. Do you guys see that? Skip that. Oh man. Alright. Right oh no. Okay. I thought I was gonna fall again.
Man, the buildings are so far away from each other. These guys are bent on stopping me from catching that motorcycle. Better take them all out before they hurt someone. You see where he went? You're dead, do-gooder! I know you can use the... Uh, these guns. Let's see. Can I? No. Alright, where next? It's hard, a little hard to see where you can go. Well, go here. There are machine guns firing at me. Not a walk in the park, that's for sure. Uh, but it says we're supposed to go there, okay. Thank goodness there's some health here. Alright, we're going to that barn over there if this is if we headed towards the shocker I'm, I'm gonna have to um, cut the episode there because the shocker is pretty tough Oh no, this isn't the shocker. All right. So yeah. The place. I know I have an invite here somewhere. Hmm. This were a movie. Someone would spring a trap right about now. Yeah, we'll play through this. This is a fun, fun stage, and then we'll wrap this up. No boss fights here because I think the shockers. Oh, whoa. Lots of red arrows. Man. Alright. I'll take note of that. Alright, where's the red arrow? Some health there. Let's reserve that for after this fight. Yeah, the other thing that I don't like about uh, this game is that uh, it relies too much on the web pull mechanic, the new that new mechanic. But it's hard to execute. There's this uh, s uh, s sequence wherein, oh, you'll have to stop uh, an airplane, a um, small propeller plane from um, moving forward. 
there's another the the fight with the shopper that's also quite tough because you need to use the web pull against him all right but otherwise this is still a pretty solid uh, game I see uh, my next target I don't know where he is. Um, there's on the Dreamcast version. Oh, there you go. Oh, there's our target. Uh, none of you guys can reach the ceiling, can you? All right, so let's see what's up next. All right, Chuckles, you're gonna tell me everything you know. I tell you spit. Hmm. I thought you'd say that. You know, I've never really suspended a man like this before. I hope this web line holds. Okay, okay, okay. They, they said something about an airfield. A hangar 18. It's all I know, I swear. Now there's a good thug, you see? You're not as dumb as you look. No, no. Get up, wall crawler. I'm not done beating on you yet. Shocker. Uh, nice to see you too. Ooh, you like that, huh? Well, hold still, because you're going to love this. Oh no. All right. Well, let's let's try this out, but uh, this this boss fight is sloppy, pretty buddy. tough. I tried a couple of times, maybe once or twice. The the problem with the shocker is you have to hit him with these boxes. But the like I said, the the web the web pull mechanic isn't easy to do. And then you have uh, a time limit that that meter at the bottom. Oh, there, we we beat him. Oh, that's uh, I wasn't even looking at his uh, health bar. I guess when I was pulling on the boxes, it was hitting him. I think we made some real progress today, Shocker. I really do. Hey, uh, when you get to prison, remember to share your feelings with the group, okay? Alright, new picture unlocked in portfolio, so I guess that's the entire first stage or the entire first chapter. And now uh, the regular bad guys uh, have high-powered weapons. Hey there, Spidey fans. These guys look like they're up to no good. 
Well, luckily Spidey's on the scene to make them realize the error of their ways. But watch out, Webhead. This time you may be in over your head. That oh. tip I got from the Shocker's goon said there's something going down at the airfield tonight. If I hurry, I can just make it. So this is a large area, so let's just um, keep going. When we get to that bomb, then, so then we can end the episode. Yeah, it's a little... It's, it's not choppy, but um, I don't know. I think there's some frame skip going on. Oops. Yeah, because the, the, the area here is quite large. Though that's a bomb. There's Spider-Man. Arm the bomb and clear out. Yeah, this part's tough because you need to find all the a keys. Bomb. Something this size could take out a whole city block. Better find the mercenaries and figure out how to turn it off. Yeah, and the the keys are held, being held by the like they were made for keys. the mercenaries. If I can find them, I can probably disarm the bomb. Let's try to find one of the keys. Look at that! How how much time you have? Two minutes. Uh, all right. So, but yeah, uh, this game uh, quite old, but with the two X resolution, it it looks better. Uh, and the mechanics are good enough that it, it holds up, right? It's um, following modern game design already, so even if uh, it gives you unlimited tries, you have a safe uh, system so you can continue anytime. It's just pretty well designed and the story is great, the voice acting is uh, excellent. Spider-Man is voiced by the same guy that voices him in the... Uh, Spider-Man animated series. Anyone looking for a blue key? So it's pretty good. And it's running pretty well to X resolution on the Retroid Pocket 3. I assume that on the Retroid Pocket 3 Plus you can even play this at 3X resolution. So that's something that I'm gonna look out for when we uh, finally get our own uh, Retroid Pocket 3 Plus. But for now, uh, we're gonna have to settle for this. One down, three to go. You're right about that. Now or never, Spidey. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you have any game requests that you want me to test, let me know. Drop a line uh, down below, and I'll add your request to the list. There's the red key. Once again, it's Al from GamingGeek.net. Talk to you in the next video.